Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Solo Learn. So Solo Learn is a website that you can go online and learn how to code. It's completely free. Uh, there is a pro version, but a lot of the features are available completely free. And that's what I wanted to highlight today. I just wanted to show you guys this awesome free resource that you can use if you're like trying to learn how to code. I think this could be an awesome resource. And I did talk about this in my last video, but I wanted to make a more in-depth uh, you know review of solo learn because I had just recently heard of it I haven't I, like I haven't had much experience with it And so I thought you know We just go through the whole website see what it's about and then kind of see if it's like You know a good resource on par with like free code camp and those websites, right? So as always guys if you like the video leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel It's completely free for you and it means so much to me. So let's get right into the video This is kind of the home page. So you see you have your you have your account. I'm super low level uh, and there's like, you know, an option to go pro, but what we really want to look at and kind of the bulk of the website is this homepage of the courses, right? So you can see there's a like, uh, what, what is there like uh, 24? There's 24 courses. There's anything from Python, C sharp, web design, data science, SQL. And like, if you look closely, you, you'll see that some of these have millions, tens of thousands of learners, hundreds of thousands. So there really is a lot of people that have used this this platform. And so that should be kind of like explain, explained by itself how good of a resource this is, right? So I kind of started with Python core, but you know, for the sake of the video, let's, let's look at another uh, course. So let's look at JavaScript, right? So right off the bat, this is what the whole course is. At the end, you get some kind of cert certification, but it looks like you just like an overview some basic concepts which look like you know assigning variables if statements booleans stuff like that then conditionals okay so if statements and loops are here so it teaches you all about loops and uh conditionals then how to make a function uh how to return alert cool and then there's so it looks like there's also quizzes at the end of each module which is pretty sweet and then objects okay cool so objects and then arrays array properties yeah math object date object cool so a lot of stuff that is actually very important and then you look you take a look at the dom and how you handle events form validation all that stuff and then you look at ecma so i mean this course is like pretty in depth and what you can and like the downside is though that uh to get to the to, to get to this stage you have to complete everything before right so you can't really skip through unless you you take a shortcut which then it just gives you uh you know a little quiz and then if you're you know if you already know all that stuff it'll just it'll just let you skip that module but you know let's start the course and let's take a look at what the JavaScript course is like, right? So there's just like an introduction. What is the correct statement? Uh, there you go, check, perfect. So you didn't even have to try, I got it right instantly. Um, and then this is also uh, what I also wanted to highlight. So it shows you actual code. It tells you about the script, the script tag, how you have to put it in the HTML document. And then there's quiz style. So there's quiz style questions, but then there's also uh, stuff like this, which lets you code right away into the website by yourself. So this kind of stuff I really like, it lets you just start coding and get a feel for it because I think the biggest barrier, you know, to entry for coding is like, you know, setting up an environment, getting, downloading all the programs and then starting code like that. So websites that let you do this and just, you know, start coding right away are, are websites that I really appreciate. And then what you can do is, you know, try it yourself. It takes you to this page where, you know, uh, it, you can see all the code you're writing. There's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then what you can do is run the code and then it, it, it shows it, right? So it's, it's pretty awesome. And you can like change it and, and get instant feedback to your code and kind of just, you know, slowly uh, start coding, which, you know, I really like, I really like this. And um, then you can even like save the code if you want to see it for later. I'm not going to do that right now. But, you know, this is kind of the, uh, the, the main formats of the, the courses and the questions. So and so what you can just do is like you fill them out here, it checks and then it tells you that, you know, you got the right answer and you keep going. And then, you know, there's it just basically keeps going like that. Now you're looking at you're learning about the console, you try it yourself. And then what is this? It says your first program. Your first problem, write a program to print JS is fun. OK, so now it gives you like a more complex uh, problem that's kind of on a different level of difficulty than you know what we were doing before just doing console logs so it, it, it lets you you know try out and um actually implement what you're learning and really use the content that you're learning not just you know learning it and then moving on right so that's really good and then even here you know it doesn't even give you any more options it makes you write it by yourself so you can console.log and then like you know you check if it's right and basically like there's different, you know, there's different types of questions. It's very interactive. And then there's also even like comments 
per slide people are typing people are you know doing their are writing their solutions and stuff like that so you know it's it's very easy to use it's very user friendly there's comments there's an active community and so all these all these kinds of things kind of make it seem like a really good a platform and look you you'll right away move on to variables and i think if you honestly do this entire course you spend some time and you do this whole course then you'll have a pretty solid understanding of javascript and it'll, it'll be basically like a really good foundation for you to then move on to you know maybe front end specific like back end specific whatever it is but this is a really good introduction and you know i would definitely you know check this out if i was if i was just starting to learn how to code i would definitely you know uh, look look at this see if it's for me and kind of give it a decent try so there's also let's look at like some other courses there's a sql course this, and and it's basically the same thing, right? It's the same kind of format. Uh, here, there's a bit less content. It looks like there's just you know uh, fu function. There's only four. The other one you saw there's like 15 modules. Uh, but the cool thing is there's challenges. Um, there's all there's always like these small projects and quizzes and challenges that let you reaffirm your knowledge and kind of make sure that you're actually understanding and not just you know going through the motions. So uh, so definitely I would check this out guys and there's also you know a couple of other cool features on this website that we can take a look at. So one of the ones I really I really enjoy is the code playground. And what this place kind of is, is uh, people are just posting their projects, right? So you can see like 23rd of April, uh, 8th March 2017, so whatever uh, that is. But so you can also see like people upvote them. And what the cool part is, is you can just take a look at their code, right? So you can open it in like its own kind of uh, IDE environment and you can see the HTML, CSS, JavaScript code. So this project didn't even take any JavaScript. And the cool thing is, and what I would use this for is if I was a complete beginner, kind of just, you know, maybe get an idea of what this code does and just look at it and kind of just under, just look at it to understand what's going on. So you can run this code and then it, it shows you exactly what uh, it produces. So I don't know what, uh, okay, so you can just click and it rotates. So, I mean, this is really cool. This is very, very difficult to program and and like just what I wanted to show is that you can instantly look at people's code and then you can make changes to it. You can work, you can iterate on it too if you want, but it kind of just lets you look at code right away. And I think it's just like very, um, it like breaks down all the barriers. It lets a complete beginner look at code and run some projects, right? Without, without having to set anything up. So I think this is awesome. You can also uh, filter them by most recent, most popular, whatever you want to see. And like we, we can take a look at the most popular thing on this website. Look, find the day of the week you were born, right? And written in C++, it tells you everything. And so what you can do is just look at the code, right? And uh, like if I was a complete beginner, so run. So it requires an input, but whatever. So we don't have to actually run this program. But what I would do is just, you know, after taking a course, after taking the C++ course, for example, I, so I kind of have an understanding of what the syntax is, then I would just kind of maybe like look at this code, see if I can understand it. If I do, then I can try to make some changes, try to try to alter the code a bit. But basically, it, it just lets you work on a project and kind of understand code right away. So I think Solo Learn so far is a, a great resource, to be honest. Um, there's also places where you can go and uh, discuss kind of like Stack Overflow type of thing on uh, Solo Learn as well. So you can always ask questions. It looks like it's pretty active. Um, like all of these are from April of 2021. There's votes and a uh, decent amount of answers. You can search up and ask a new question. Uh, there's also a blog on this uh, on, on Solo Learn as well. You know, if you're ever curious about different ty types of topics like web courses, they redesign the web course. How does a data science use R? You know, all this stuff is here for you and it's all completely free, right? You don't have to go pro, but if you did, this is what it is. It's not too expensive, $12 a month or, or $69 a year, but for now, I won't be getting that. For my first impressions and from the time I've spent on the app, I think it's a pretty solid, um, pretty solid resource. I think there's a lot to, to learn here. There's a lot of courses. And if you genuinely take the time, I don't even think you have to, uh, you have to go pro. You, can, you probably can, it, it gives you, what, what benefits does it give you? Run code to master concepts, no ads. Okay, so you basically kind of get to track your progress. You get more uh, difficult coding exercises and you get to actually run your code on more advanced questions. So, you know, uh, it might be useful at some point, but I think uh, check out this website, guys. Go through a course. I think it'll definitely, if you're a complete beginner, I think this is a great place to start. Like you saw the JavaScript 
um, tutorial. It starts you off with basically nothing, like assuming that you have no idea how to code. And so, you know, yeah, I just, I just kind of thought I'd make this video for your guys' consideration just to check this out and kind of inform you about this awesome resource because I gen genuinely do think it's a great resource. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. As always, it's completely free for you and I greatly appreciate it. Um, also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you if you know any other resources that are awesome or if you just want to want to uh, comment on the video, let me know what you guys think. And as always, guys, have a great day and enjoy your coding.